What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys here today with four fire plugins, one of which is a freebie. And make sure y'all stick around for the third plugin, because sheesh. Make sure if you guys do like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But with no further delay, let's get right in these plugins. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys. So the first plugin I got for you guys today is an absolute gem. It's called Vision 4X. Um, when you open up Vision 4X, it is going to look like this. This is basically an analyzer that helps you analyze your mix or basically makes better mixes. And it's got all kinds of different things that help you um, analyze the mix. So as we're looking here, up here in the top left corner, uh, we have a spectrogram. Um, over here, we have like a frequency graph. Um, down here, we have like the waveform and everything. Over here, we have like peak and RMS meters. And then right here, we have phase and correlation meters. So I'm just gonna push play and you're gonna look at this move real quick. And then I'll start explaining a little more for you guys. So as you can see, it's got a whole lot going on um, as the beat's playing through. So basically right here with the spectrogram, this is going to allow you to look at your mix in 3D. So as you're looking at it, obviously it's like an X, Y axis. And as you're looking at it down here, these are obviously gonna be your lower frequencies. These are obviously gonna be your higher frequencies. Um, and then the color over here is basically gonna be the amplitude, but basically it allows you to visualize your mix and how things are hitting. Um, this is my favorite part over here of the actual whole entire plugin because it's similar to like tonal balance from um, Isotope where it basically allows you to pick a certain genre and then, you know, you can see where each one of those bands is hitting. So if it's if it's basically hitting in the target range. So you have your low end down here all the way up to the high end. So as we look at this, I'm going to push play again real quick. And as we look at it, it's going to tell us if we are in that target range. So based off of this graph right here, it's looking like the mix isn't that bad. There's just a couple of target areas that I could, you know, potentially fix. Um, like maybe some of this low end, I can put a little, you know, EQ shelf on there or whatever, but this is a great way to visualize it. I love this down here as well, because this allows you to look at your transients. So you can figure out if you, you know, if, if, if you're, 808 and your kick aren't hitting right, you can kind of see that waveform and see why they aren't hitting right because you'll be able to see that waveform, whether it is, um, you know, blocked out or whether it has a peak and then it goes down. So like certain things like that help you to make your mix so much better. So this is currently $29, very solid tool. It also has um, these settings over here and you can do a whole lot more. So you can listen to what it is you exactly wanna listen to. So what kind of preset, whether it's harmonic mixing, low end focus, mastering, whatever the case is. So it's also got this mode right here where you can actually listen to it in stereo, left, right, mid or side, which is pretty nice. Um, but one thing that you're really gonna have to make sure that you're paying attention to is the reference down here. So basically how they figured this out was they took a whole bunch of hip hop or whatever the genre of tracks, put them together and they basically got average values for them. But you have all the different genres right here that you need, you know, and you can definitely get it right. So this is definitely a solid one. I recommend checking it out. It's definitely gonna help you get your mixes right. All right, guys, and the second plugin I have for you guys today is a freebie and it just released today. It's called Pitch Drift by Baby Audio. Um, so when you open up Pitch Drift, it is going to look like this. Um, it's basically, as the name would imply, it basically gives you that drift sound or that little VHS sound from Super VHS. Very solid uh, little one knob tool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to play um, the piano or whatever the chord sound was um, that I initially started the beat with. It sounded like this. But then when I threw Pitch Drift on there, I got it to sound like this. So you can hear it's giving it that kind of VHS effect. I'm gonna go ahead and push this to the extreme just so you guys can hear what it sounds like. I've already kind of got it up pretty extreme, um, but it sounds like this if I push it all the way. So 
So again, the effect is very subtle. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play it on the master track too, just so you can kind of hear more of what it's doing. Cause that sound might've needed a better sound, maybe a different piano. Um, but this is basically what the pitch drift sounded like, um, on the whole beat. Yo, so that's pretty solid. You know, you get that little pitch drift. I think this is going to be really good on whatever you're going to use it on from guitars. You can even throw it on vocals a little bit. Don't throw it on there too much because it's going to get them out of key. Um, pianos, just anything. Guitars. I think this is going to be solid on anything just to give it a little bit more flavor and a little bit more movement. Um, again, it is free. Um, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. And the third plug I have for you guys today is an absolute gem. I feel bad because I got sent this plugin maybe about three weeks ago, but it went to my promotions folder and I never saw the plugin. And so I opened it up yesterday. And if I would have opened this plugin up three weeks ago, this would be in my top 10 plugins of 2022. The plugin's called Distiller and it's by DigiNoise. Um, so when you open up Distiller, it is going to look like this. It is basically a distortion tool and a filter tool mixed together. So my prediction for 2023 is that it's going to be the year of distortion because they've given us so many distortion and saturation plugins. I just feel like everything's going to have distortion on it this year. And I feel like that's cool because these new distortion plugins have allowed me to put distortion on sounds a different way than I ever would have before. So what I mean by that is this is what the initial sounds were from the beat, right? So this is what the, the piano and the guitar sounded like from the beat. All right, so super mellow. You don't even hear that guitar in the beat because this is, again, what that guitar sounded like. All right, I threw one preset from Distiller on there and the guitar sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, exactly. You're not even going to tell me that's not dope. So then mixed in with that piano, I got it to sound like this. And like, I would have never came up with this beat and I would have never come up with this whole style if it wasn't for this plugin and that preset. It was just super dope. So with this, um, you're going to get a whole lot. You get two different distortion types. You know, you get these different distortions. Um, you get different filter types. So as you see here, you get a ton of different filter types. Um, you get filter cutoff, you get LFOs, you get distortion, you get movement and all that stuff as well. Um, 80s, 80s for modern times. Let's go ahead and listen to something else, some, some more presets. So again, this is what that guitar sounded like. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn this back on. Let's go to another preset. So let me go ahead and turn off the piano. Um, So again, it's got a bunch of different distortion types, but I'm about to show you this on a bunch of stuff because I use this plugin on like everything in this beat, everything. Um, so another place that I used it was on this 808. You guys didn't get to hear that in a demonstration because I basically automated that 808. Um, and so over here, I automated distiller on the 808. Um, and so this is what I got the 808 to sound like with distiller on there. Um, it sounded like this without distiller on there. All right, but when I threw Distiller on there, I got to sound like this. All right, and so then in the beat with everything else though, um, that part sounded like this. So it just gave it a little different feel. And then over here, I also used it on that little brass section. Um, so on that brass section, the brass section sounded like this initially.
And then when I threw distiller on there, um, it just basically got it to sound completely different. It gated it up, did a bunch of stuff. Now that same trumpet or horn section sounds like this. And so that also gave it a little break up and a switch in that area where I threw the 808 and all that movement stuff on there. Um, and then I used it here too as well on arcade. So I used it on the vocals, but how I use it on the vocals was basically similar to how I use it in that horn section. So um, as you'll see here with arcade, the vocal sounds like this. Look in your eyes, be the one. Look in your so that's how it initially sounded. But then over here, I automated it and I changed it up and do that distiller on there. And I got it to sound like this. And so it's a subtle change, but when you play it in the beat, you can actually hear the difference in the second half. So listen to the second half of the chorus and you'll notice the difference in the vocals. Yo, so you can hear how it's chopped up and it's gated and all that stuff. Um, this plugin is an absolute beast. It's a monster plugin. Um, I absolutely love it. I even used it on the drums too. So I'll let you hear how it sounded on those drums real quick. I know I spent a lot of time on this plugin in the roundup, but this plugin is sincerely insane. So another thing that you can use this on is going to be your drums so that you can get a little bit of crunch in your drums. Um, so as you see here, um, without distiller on there, it sounds like this. Now, once I threw distiller on there though, I got it to sound like this. So basically I got those drums to be a lot crunchier. Obviously you can mess with the distortion, the mix and all that other stuff if you wanna get them even crunchier than that. And then you can mess with all this stuff. But again, this plugin is absolutely insane. I wish I would have got it before I did my top 10 of 2022 because this would have definitely made the cut. And the last plugin I got for you guys today is another gem. It's by Sonable and it's called Pure Limit. Uh, when you open up Pure Limit, it is going to look like this. It is an AI powered limiter. Um, so basically it will read your signal, it will process it, and it will give you the best limiting settings that it possibly can. Um, it's pretty solid. All of Sonable stuff is really good. Uh, so what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to hit bypass and then I'm going to turn it on and you're going to be able to hear clear as day what the limiter did to the beat. It just brought everything out a little bit more. So the last time I hit the limiter right there, you can tell clear as day. You heard what it did to that vocal and you heard what it did to the beat. It brought out so much. Um, but with this, you know, all you have to do in order to get a good limit is figure out your genre. So whatever genre it is that you're rocking with, we're going to go ahead and leave it on this hip hop because uh, we're hipping and hopping today. You tell you it tells you here it's waiting for the signal. You just push play. And then you can obviously you can use this on vocals, you can use this on guitars, drums, you can use it on whatever it is that you want to use it on, whatever you would use a limiter on. Um, but it's really easy if you don't like how much um, input or gain that they gave you, you can easily just pull out that pull that back or push it forward. And then it also has this inflate control down here as well. <laughs> Yo, as dumb as this is gonna sound, it literally did what the name said. It inflated the sound. I know, I know, I know, I'm stupid. <laughs> Y'all ain't gotta tell me. And then you have styles over here as well. So you got soft, neutral, and you got hard. So 
This is another fire one. All of these plugins are bangers. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this as well. I know I do the free plugin roundups is, you know, whenever I get a bunch of free plugins, um, obviously I would do reviews on all these plugins, but a bunch of plugins come out. I can't necessarily do a review on all of them, but some of them are fire and all every, every plugin here was fire. And I just don't have time to review them singly. So if something like this is what you guys like too, I have no problem doing roundups with um, big plugins too as well. I just won't be able to go super in depth um, in the walkthrough. So uh, make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a little elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.